So the new weight button control panel on the CB13, 15, and 16 has simplified the operation for operators. Speed control, still located in the, uh, the two button increase and decrease, uh, allows operators to optimize their performance by setting a speed uh, and utilizing full stroke of the propel lever. This ensures that operators roll in the same speed in the forward direction as they do in the rear direction. Below that is the machine speed set point. One button indicates a low speed setting, which is one half of the speed range. Two buttons indicates a high speed setting. Compaction can be performed in both of these modes with special attention paid to impact spacing. So impacts per foot or impacts per meter should be considered when selecting a machine propel speed. Below that is the drum select button. One forward light indicates that the front drum only is, is set. Two lights indicates that a dual drum mode is set, so both front and rear. And then lastly, a third push puts a rear light indication on. If my machine is equipped with the full rotation and, and I spin the operator station 180 degrees, now facing in the opposite direction, the drum in front of me is still considered the front drum. Let's look at the water spray system. So the water spray system on Caterpillar rollers is an ECM controlled system that has a specific on and off time. This on and off time is operator selected by these two buttons. To increase the spray time, simply press and increase the button. It moves in 5% increments. Or if it's, the water is spraying too much and you have too much drum water running down the front, simply decrease the water spray by pressing the, the minus or the decrement button. The water spray mode button is the third button on the right hand side. Simply press the button to activate either pump one, pump two, pumps one and two, which includes spray bars one and two. So in this mode, both pumps are running as well as both spray bars. A situation where you have high wind conditions and or very high ambient temperatures one may consider running both spray bars, but you should know that you're going to be running both pumps and both spray bars, and this is going to lead to a high consumption of water. In the, the mode where the light is illuminated furthest forward, that is the auto spray mode. Auto mode is where pump one and spray bar one is used in the forward direction. In the reverse direction, pump two and spray bar two are utilized. This en enables both pumps to be exercised and rested an equal amount of time that leads to a longevity and long life of the water pumps. The final button on the eight button control panel is the frequency button. This button simply changes between low frequency and high frequency. By pressing the button once, one light is illuminated. This represents the low frequency. On a two amplitude, two frequency, that is the the highest amplitude available in, in the mode that should be used for a thicker lift. Pressing the button a second time activates the second light, which is the high frequency. On a 2 amp 2 frequency, this should be the, the mode in which we should create compaction on a thinner lift. A high fr higher frequency is normally at the lower amplitude. This same logic applies to a VersaVibe system. So having the drums set at in a high setting and simply activating low frequency or high frequency allows us to switch between a thin lift or a thick lift. Again, low frequency should be used for thick lifts because that's generally the higher amplitude, and high frequency should be used for thinner lifts, which is the lower amplitude of the two settings.